Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. This is the fourth video in a series to get you up and running fast with On One Photo Raw 2019. In this video, we're going to focus on the more advanced editing techniques, specifically masking, and how we can use the masks to target adjustments and filters to just the elements in the scene that we want. I'm going to continue with the photo we worked on in the previous video. One of the adjustments I made to this photo is dynamic contrast. I'll open that up here in the effects tab. And I'll turn it off so you can see the effect and then back on. That's adding a nice level of contrast to the entire scene. Now I'd like to keep the sky and the water very soft and just target this effect to the rocks itself. I've got a couple of options here. Let me show you both of them. One approach is to go into the blending options, the little gear menu, and decide what this effect will apply to. And if I apply this to just shadows, Look at the difference. The rocks get the pop of contrast, but the water and the sky is smooth. Compare that to all versus shadows. So that's one way to very quickly target tonal regions in your photo. Now, if you want to have even more control, we'll turn to luminosity masks, which is a very powerful masking tool that's made quite easy to use in Photo Raw 2019. I'll return the range to all and now open up the masking options and click the lumen button and I'll click view so we can see the mask. This looks like a black and white photo. This is actually the mask that Photo Raw created. Masks that are dark remove an effect or a filter and masks that are bright reveal it or apply the effect. So here I want to get the rocks as bright as possible. So let me invert the mask. And now I have other controls to fine tune this. I want those rocks to get very white and bright so I can start playing with the levels to shift where the transition happens, as well as these window sliders to try to reduce the effect in that water there. And this is starting to look really good. And what's nice about the luminosity mask is you get a very detailed and subtly different mask. I could paint over this, but notice that there's areas that are gray as well as bright white, as lighter gray. All of that is going to apply slightly different amounts of this contrast to these rocks. So if I turn off that mask view, now we can see before the contrast and after. It's just giving the rocks a nice increase in the contrast without affecting the water, and it's doing it in a very complex yet natural looking way. Let's move on to a tab in the edit module we haven't looked at yet, the local tab. These are for local adjustments, and as the name suggests, you're going to mask these into specific regions of your photo. Let's use the adjustment here to darken the sky a little bit. So we'll pre-stage the sliders. So we'll maybe take this down by a half step of exposure and then up in the toolbar I'll choose this gradient shape and I'll just click on the scene and you can see that this is darkening the part above the middle of the gradient. I can feather this out and make that a very nice smooth transition. We can see before that adjustment and after. And you can do a variety of things here too. We have all these different controls. We could add warmth. We could cool the sky. In this case, the sky has got a nice warm tone. I want to keep that. I could even explore increasing that. It's way too much. We'll back that off and maybe just a tiny little extra bit of warmth before that warmth. And then after, just a tiny little extra touch there. Let's add one more local adjustment and do some treatment to the water and maybe cool the water down a little bit. I'll add an adjustment. And again, I'll pre-stage my sliders. In this case, I'll keep exposure the same. We'll take the temperature slider and let's just, let's do something large that we can see like a negative 15 on the temperature to cool things down. We have our gradient selected. I'm going to place that on the scene and rotate it. So now it's affecting the foreground and midground, everything above the 
center is not being affected. Everything below is. And lastly, we want to remove this effect from the rocks. Well, we have several choices. Let me show you one of the ways with blending options, and then I'll also show you the perfect brush, which is the edge detecting masking brush. So one approach, we could go to the gear menu in the adjustment. These exist for all adjustments, all filters, and we have some sliders down here to protect certain tonal ranges. So I can protect the shadows, and as I push this all the way to the right, notice that the rocks do not have that same cooling effect before and after. The rock tones are staying about the same and the water is taking on a cool tone. We have one other choice. We could approach it with a masking brush. I'll return those shadows so that it's being fully affected by this adjustment. In addition to the gradient shape, we have a brush for local adjustments. And here, if I hover, you'll see the perfect brush. I can turn that on. The perfect brush is edge detection. I want to paint out this effect. As I paint, as long as I keep the center of my masking brush over the rock, the edge detection will prevent the brush from affecting the water, which is a different tone, a different object. Let go of that for a second and I will open up the masking area and turn on view. So we can see exactly how this brush is working. I'll make that a little smaller as I work through the other areas of the rocks. And if it's difficult to work in a black and white mode, which it kind of is for this particular scene, we can change the mask overlay. We'll change the view mode to be a red overlay. And now we can see with much more ease where this brush is actually affecting. And we can do the same thing out for you know, this rock out in the center here. Notice as I brush through there, the rock's being affected, but the water outside of the rock is not. So the edge detection is helping us out there. So as simple as it is to add filters to your photo to build up your look, with each one of those filters, as well as local adjustments, you've got some very powerful tools. You've got masking tools, you've got blending options, so you can very much craft and shape each one of those adjustments to just the elements in the scene that you want them to affect. My name's Scott Davenport. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.